I'm Dr. Fakir Abadi and this is Superiority Clinical Trials. Well, there are many study types out there such as randomized control trials and cohort studies. First and foremost, they vary from each other in quality. The focus of this topic is clinical trials, which are also referred to as control trials. Keep in mind that clinical trials can be randomized control trials or they can be non-randomized uh, control trials. Please take a moment to review these definitions before you move on to the next slide. Let's review the quality of evidence pyramid. At the bottom of the pyramid, we can see that we have the lower, lowest uh, quality of evidence. And these are data from animal data, simulation study, and expert opinion. Sometimes in the absence of higher quality evidence, these uh, studies can actually be useful. Now, higher in the pyramid, we have case reports and case series, and these are descriptive studies. Slightly higher quality than this, we have case control studies and cohort studies, which are observational studies. And then we have very high quality evidence from control trials. So we have non-randomized control trials and randomized control trials, and these are extremely important because these are experimental studies. And I'll mention why this is very important. And of course, at the top of the pyramid, we have systematic reviews and meta-analysis, which we will discuss on a later day. The reason clinical trials are very important because they are the gold standard for drug approval. Of course, before a drug can come to the market, there will be a preclinical phase where the drug is studied first in a lab and then later studied in animal. And once this, uh, uh, once a drug is discovered, it will make its way into clinical trials and the clinical trials can have phase one two three and four phase one clinical trials includes uh, patients who are actually healthy volunteers so it's a very very small study and they test the drug in healthy volunteers just to make sure that it's safe once it's proven to be safe then they enroll in a phase two study patients who are actually have the have the disease and this is the time where the investigators will actually try different doses different doses to figure out the right dose that will be safe and effective once the dose has been determined from a phase two study and once it's determined that it's safe and effective then they will enroll a larger study from uh, patients who actually have the disease and they will study the drug to make sure that it's safe and effective. And of course, once the drug is approved after completion of phase three studies, there will be post-marketing studies at phase four. Now, there are some exceptions to this. For example, antibiotics can actually be approved after completion of phase two studies um, with the condition that they will have to continue to do a phase three study and submit the data to the FDA. Let's take a look at randomized clinical trials. There are three general designs of RCTs. The first one is a superiority trial. The point of superiority trial is to show the treatment in intervention group is more effective or superior compared to control group. This design is used for establishing new standard of care, meaning that in the absence of standard of care, it's ethical to give a control group a placebo. In situations where uh, where we have good standard of care, it might be unethical to give the intervention group a treatment that is not standard of care. The second design is non-inferiority trials. This design is to show that the treatment is not worse compared to control group. It is used for establishing alternative care. In other words, it's used when we have a drug that's not necessarily superior to the standard of care, but it might be another alternative. So we will use a non-inferiority design for that. And the last design is equivalence, which is used to show the treatment is not more effective and is not worse compared to control group. This design is used for establishing generic drugs that are equivalent to their brand formulation. Now for superiority studies, the primary objective is to determine the magnitude of increased benefit of the experimental intervention over standard therapy for effectiveness outcomes. The first learning objective is identify different types of bias and random error encountered in clinical research. It is almost impossible to have an absolutely perfect clinical trial to 
find the absolute truth in the clinical study. There will always, almost always be some sort of error in the results of clinical trials. An error is basically deviation from the truth. Now this deviation from the truth could be a random error due to chance or it could be a systematic error which we refer to as bias. Now the goal is to minimize these errors as much as possible so that the results will be as close as possible to the truth. Now here is a list of some common types of bias that you will encounter. There are other types of bias as well but these are some of the common ones. Please take a moment to review these definitions before you move on to the next slide. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say that we want to measure somebody's diastolic blood pressure. Blood pressure is routinely measured using either sphygmomanometer or an automated machine. Let's say that we use a sphygmomanometer to measure somebody's diastolic blood pressure and it happens to be 90. Now, if we use the same sphygmomanometer to repeat this measurement, uh, we, it's possible to get some variation. So if we do it again, we might get 90 again, or it might be, um, you know, 89 or 88. So you get some variation. So even though you're using the same sphygmomanometer, you will get some variation. And these are due to chance. These are error due to chance. Now, let's say we were able to measure the true blood pressure using intra-arterial cannula, and this happens to be 80. Now, this deviation from 80, so if the average of these measurements using sphygmomanometer uh, was 90, this deviation from the truth is due to bias. So in clinical trials, uh, while there's little that can be done to prevent error due to chance, uh, we want to make sure that we take measures to reduce the amount of bias.